in this video a little impromptu because I had already started and then I said let me record this. So, uh, how to bleed the brakes on a QX56. Uh, this is a 2012 QX56. I bled it once before but I did not know exactly how to do it the first time so I actually left air in it and now that I know how to do it for real I'm doing it the correct way and I said well let me show how this is done so I got my little garage here in Alabama right now since I left Georgia but I'm making do so you don't even need to jack up the car in order to bleed the brakes see I've already done it with, with all the rest and I got a lot of fluid out the QX56 it has a pretty big reservoir on it and as you see it doesn't have your traditional master cylinder it's completely electronic it is it yeah it has some hot you know it uses hydraulics like you know you can still use the brakes with the car off but as far as pumping up the brakes like how you can pump up the brakes on most cars you pump it pump it pump it and it get tight that does not happen on a qs56 because it's it's master cylinder is 100 percent electronic and it completely it's like the abs and everything is built into the master cylinder instead of like being a separate thing uh, I'll probably annotate, and annotate this video or have maybe some side thing where I do a little bit more research and give you what the difference between the QX56 ABS, I mean uh, master cylinder, is compared to all the other Infinities. But keep in mind this car has to tow 8,500 pounds so maybe the standard master cylinder wasn't going to work. And it also has like, the I think it has some brake, braking control or something for towing so that maybe that's why we don't have the standard master cylinder but I'm gonna look it all up and then I'll and I'll annotate this video with that so but anyway so in order to bleed these brakes you do your standard you know go around the car from the furthest wheel you know passenger rear um, like you would normally do you know passenger rear and um, you know driver rear and then driver, I mean, then passenger front, and then then the driver side front. You know, you kind of do that normal thing. I think you can even do. I think it actually. I think it actually may be that is. Passenger side rear, passenger side front, driver side rear, driver side front. That actually may be the correct way. But uh, I'll annotate that too if that's wrong. But anyway, so in order to bleed the brakes, you have to actually activate this system. You can't just pump it, because just pump it does nothing. Because you actually, literally, you have to bleed the electronic ABS system, and you bleed, then you bleed the lines. You kind of do it in one go. So in order to do it, you come into the car, and it's a little bit tedious for people who doing this you can do it you can do it with one person as you see I'm doing this with one person so uh, sorry for the more uh, vlog style video this time but I just didn't know I was gonna make this video but anyway you gotta pump the brakes more than 21 times so two three four five six seven eight nine and the brake actually changes at about nine where you can feel like the something like kick in so and you know that you you're doing it i think i'm at like 18 19 20 21 22 i'm doing more than 20 times 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30. So I pumped it 30 times, or probably a little more than 30. Then you immediately turn the power to on, and then you'll notice you hear this sound. That's the master cylinder actually activating and pumping down. And 
So now that that's pumped down, you can it knows it's in brake bleeder mode now. So now I'm about to pop the bleeder. Uh, excuse me, sorry for this normal, it's not my normal quality of video, but I'm gonna have to make do because I did this video kind of off the cuff. So as you see, I'm about to, I think you may be able to see the bleeder. I'm trying not to make, I know the camera makes noise every time I move it. Hopefully you can see the bleeder. Oh shit, it came out. to spill this big ass thing over brake fluid. So I have that ready. You can hear the thing pop on again. Where's my pen at? To pop the bleeder is a 10. Ah right, here it goes. So lefty loosey righty tighty. Pop the bleeder. Stick my tube on here. You can like, just got these 22s. I can like literally just reach in here. All right. Got my tube in there. See? I should be able to see this now. I hope so. I'm kind of doing this off the cuff. All right. I know you can see it now. So. I got my tube in there. It's bleeding right now, just like a gravity bleed right now, but that's not what we want. I'm trying to make sure this line is on here good. All right, it's doing a gravity bleed right now. So, all right, I'm about, then you go in the car. I'm going to go in the car now, and I'm going to press the brake. Now listen to what you hear. Press the brake. So, I just bled it once, twice. Through it three times to make sure, and I should have a, my line completely filled up. Yep, I am completely no bubbles in that line. You should be able to see I am bled just like that with three pumps. Bled now the the rear one of the rear ones I had to actually hold the brake down until all the air finally came out. It took a second for all the air to come out. So. But anyway, just wanted to show that. And I'm doing it the one man method with the with the bottle. So that no air actually comes back in and it stays under pressure. And all I gotta do is tighten this back up. Alright, I am bled. As you can see, I pulled out all the old fluid, and I'm good to go, just like that. Put back on my little protector cap. Anyway, so that's how you bleed the Kits 56. Sorry for the more vlog style video. I'm not really into that, but I had to do it this time because I really wasn't prepared to make this video i just decided to do it all right hope y'all like that hope it showed y'all how to do it not my best work but all right like and subscribe